carbohydrates are whenever we're talking about sugars. So each of those monomers are going to be known as saccharides. Saccharides meaning sweet. Whenever you're looking at carbohydrates, they call them carbohydrates because the carbo comes from carbon and the hydrates refer to water. So all of our water or all of our carbohydrate molecules are going to have this sort of gen general formula. N could be any number. It could be one, two, three, but all carbohydrates are going to be from three on. So N's going to start at three. So we're going to have the same number of carbon and oxygen atoms, but we're going to have twice as many hydrogen atoms. Hence, carbohydrate. Um, whenever you've just got one of these at a time, it's called a monosaccharide. So things like glucose, fructose, those are going to be monosaccharides. It means there's just one sugar unit there. Uh, if you look at the bottom of page B7, you've got two, if you've got those two that I talked about, glucose and fructose, these are two of the most often occurring in nature. They're the ones that are the most important to metabolism. You've got, you're going to start off with glucose in order to make energy. Fructose is also one of the paths that you could go through. Uh, sometimes you can link these together. And there are going to be three major types, what we call disaccharides, di meaning two. So now a monosaccharide was that one unit, so it was glucose or fructose. Now let's talk a little bit about disaccharides, which means that you've brought two of those together to form a, to form a larger molecule. So the three most important ones are maltose, sucrose, and lactose. So the first one, maltose, is going to be formed whenever you get these two glucose molecules coming together through a dehydration reaction. All of these are going to be formed through dehydration reactions. So they, and they give you the chemical formula of maltose, and it's C12H22O11. So remember, this doesn't follow this nice formula because it's not a monosaccharide. This was only for monosaccharides. We're talking about disaccharides. So maltose is two glucose units coming together. Sucrose is what we refer to as table sugar. Okay, that's the stuff that you buy at the store. So sucrose is formed whenever you get a molecule of glucose combining with a molecule of fructose, again with a dehydration synthesis. And they give you that the formula for this is going to be the same as maltose, C12H22O11. Lactose is the kind that you find in milk. So lactose, you hear about people who are lactose intolerant. These are people who cannot digest lactose. Lactose is formed in a dehydration process between glucose and another type called galactose. So the only differences between these are the positions of, um, of an OH group. So they're all going to be these sort of six carbon sugars. And uh, so that's our introduction to disaccharides.